Hello and welcome to New Hope for Today. My name is Pastor Andrew Heiss, and I'm the pastor at New Hope Friends Church in Goldsboro, North Carolina. You know, I still remember back when Megan and I, my wife and I, were preparing for uh, the coming of our child. Uh, I I remember one of the things uh, that we had to do was to pick out a name for him. And this was a long, drawn-out process for us. Uh, we started with just a couple, you know, thinking about it before we knew the gender, but we really went, once we found out that we were having a boy, we really started to buckle down and fi- try to figure out what his name should be. Now, of course, uh, Megan had a ton of names that she had picked out. Uh, she had looked through some baby books. She had looked through uh, a bunch of different things, but we finally came across the name Ezra. Now, Ezra is... Uh, has some biblical significance. He was a uh, an Old Testament scribe who uh, we believe wrote the books Ezra and Nehemiah, was able to uh, return back to Israel after the exile uh, and to see Nehemiah rebuild the temple uh, there in, in, in Jerusalem. And so he has uh, some historical significance, but his, his name has meaning as well. His name means uh, God is our helper or uh, he's our, our help. And so we just thought this was such a great name uh, for Ezra because he really was a helper to uh, to me and, and, and was a blessing to, to me and to Megan as we ha- had him. You know, uh, as we had this luxury of, of choosing the name of our son, Mary did not have that same luxury. In fact, she was had the name that was uh, she was to name her son given to her. Uh, she didn't have. She didn't go through uh, a family tree and try to figure out who she was going to name her son after, or or go through a, a baby naming book, or think back to the heroes uh, in the scripture. She simply named him what the angel had told her. And in verse twenty one of Luke chapter two, it says this: At the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And so he he was named Jesus. He was called Jesus. And this name was something that was given to him before uh, this was even a, before he was even a thought, uh, before Mary even knew that he was, she was going to have this son. That was the name that was given to him. Now, of course, uh, the name Jesus has significance. Uh, It is the Hebrew term Yeshua, which is Yahweh saves or God saves. And that was going to be the epitome of his life. That was going to be the full thrust of, of what his he was here to accomplish. Jesus was here to show that God can save sinners. He was here to save sinners, to save his people from their sins. And so by naming him this name, Mary is showing an incredible amount of faith In God, she shows that she believes that this one is the Messiah, that her son is the chosen one, is the one who will save her people. She shows an amazing amount of faith. And and she could have messed up and and named him Fred or George or, or some other thing. But no, she shows us her faith here by naming him Jesus. You know, Liz Curtis Higgs, who wrote the book, a Women, The Women of Christmas, has this to say about Mary's decision and, and Joseph's decision uh, to name him Jesus. And, and I think this is very fitting for all of us this day. It says, Luke reminds us that the name Jesus was chosen before his birth, which means it was chosen before Mary said yes. Not only did she have faith in God, but God had faith in her Just as God always knew how the life of his son would unfold on earth, God knows how our lives will unfold as well. Nothing is a surprise to him. When we stumble, however badly, he stretches out his hands, pulls us to our feet, and draws us into his embrace. His son made that possible. We who are least worthy are most grateful. I think this is so fitting. God knew what Jesus' life was going to be about before Mary ever said yes, before Mary ever chose anything. God knew. He knew the steps that Jesus was going to take and named him Jesus because of this reason. God knows what's going to happen in our lives. 
And he, he knows the, the mess ups that we've gone through. He knows our past. He knows the things that we're going to do in the future that are going to be just as messed up. And yet, he still loves us. And he loves us because of Jesus. Think about that today as you're going through your day. And, and you may mess up today. God directed your steps and God knows exactly the mess ups you're going to go through. Yet he still sent Jesus to die for you. That is an incredible love. Let's ponder that love on this day. New Hope for Today is a daily video devotional brought to you by Pastor Andrew Heiss of New Hope Friends Church. New Hope Friends Church is located at 4451 U.S. Highway 70 East in Goldsboro, North Carolina. New Hope for Today. Strength for today, hope for tomorrow.